So Surge XD is a free and open source synthesizer VST that is now available as individual modules in VCV Rec, which is quite exciting. For now, it's available as open beta that you can download and use. I will put all of the info in the description, but if you are watching this in the future, this might already be released in the VCV library. Again, it's available for free, and today I want to show you a few interesting sound design ideas with this collection. We will have a look at many of the modules and make some sounds, and we will start with something fairly simple. So I want to start with building a subtractive synth type of patch to show you some of the interesting features the modules have. If you want to dig deeper into subtractive synthesis, I have a full series of videos all about subtractive synthesis in the modular environment. There's a link in the description, of course. Right, so we will start with the classic VCO that will look like this. Right, we can move between the shapes, we can change the width of the shapes and so on and so forth. This will be our first oscillator. Let's use another one. In this case, it will be the modern VCO and we can mix them with the mixer. Right now, everything is stereo in this collection, which is quite amazing. You will see soon enough also why. So this will be oscillator one, this will be oscillator two, and this will go to the filter. Right again, left and right. And in this case, I will not use a VCA after the filter, but rather use the built-in drive control to control the amplitude of this voice. And this we will do with an envelope. This is the LFO envelope generator module. Now we'll connect the pitch from the MIDI module to the oscillators and the gates will go to trigger the envelope, right? And the output from the filter will go to the main output. So now, first of all, let's add modulation to the filter drive with the envelope. I will zoom in a bit just so you can see this. This is already something quite amazing how the modulation works. Basically, we have a few CV inputs, a few mod or modulation inputs, and we can assign them to multiple destinations. So if I click the first one, for example, mod one, I can add modulation to the drive control, right? I can select, I just click and drag and I can map this modulation to the drive control and now if I use the envelope generator right you will see that when I hit a key right you see the drive control is moving right and if if we listen to this if I bring in oscillator one right you can see I can control this now with the envelope and we can add this also to the filter with a different amount, with different modulation depth. So if I close the filter a bit, I click the same button and I can map this also to the frequency of the filter, right? And now you can see. Right, so we have no modulation mapped with one CV input mapped to the drive control and to the frequency with different modulation depth. So already you can see how special this collection is, but that's not all, there are many more interesting features. So let's continue working on the sound. We can add the second oscillator to the mix. If I add some sustain. Right, and I can take it an octave down. I just click and drag this octave here. So now we have an octave down, right? We can also add unison and that's why everything is also in stereo. So basically there will be multiple voices play, played at once and they will be a bit detuned from one another, right? So if I add two voices of unison to each of the oscillators, have a listen to this now. Oh yeah. And I can change the detuning. So just a bit. Right, something like this. Have a listen to this. Oh, man. Okay, now we can also shape the waves a bit. 
right? We can add even sync. And the mixer is also quite interesting, so we can add noise within the mixer itself, right? We have also solo and mute. So if I solo the noise itself, I can start bringing in some noise. Right, and I can change its color, basically filter it high pass to the right, low pass to the left. Right, so maybe something like this, let's see again. Again, a bit down. Listen to this sound. Now, this is not all. The mixer has also ring modulation built in, right? So you can basically multiply oscillator one and two or two and three in this case we have just two oscillators right so if we solo this as well right Very nice. Now there are additional features in the right click menu of all modules, but also of the oscillators, right? So for example, you can change the wave types, you can have sub oscillator in the case of the modern VCO, but they also have built in oscillator drift, which is quite cool to add this analog drift type of sound. So I'm going to add a bit to both of them. This is maybe a bit too much. Right, now of course we can choose also a different filter if you want. We have all sorts of different filters, also all pass filters, comp filters, multi tripole filters. I like this cutoff warp one. Right, have a look at this. Oh man. Man. I really like the sound of this. Now all we need is some delay and reverb, which are also available in this collection. There are so many interesting modules. So delay and reverb, I'm just going to connect this to the delay. And from there, of course, to the reverb and quickly to the output, the reverb and uh, other modules as well. They have also presets, right? Built-in presets. So you can choose, for example, I'm going with the Cathedral 2. Right, we can change a bit the delay time, maybe change a bit less feedback, less mix, a bit modulation, right? EQ, right, for the delay and for the reverb. Let's have a listen to this. <laughs> maybe some cross feedback. Oh, man, indeed. And of course, everything can be also polyphonic. So if I change the polyphony right on the MIDI module, the right click menu, I can change this to have, let's say, five voices. Right, and now we have polyphony.
Let's explore the LFO envelope generator a bit more. As you can see, there are quite a few types of modulation that we can choose from. So there are LFOs, you can see this also on the scope. Right, we can choose to have it unipolar or bipolar, sample and hold, envelope module um, generator. And there is also a step sequencer, and this can be, of course, synced to the clock. So I can choose to use an external clock to sync it. And I can also now multiply this clock. So if I use, for example, a 16th notes, it will basically multiply it by four. Now I'm going to use this sequence to um, generate pitch information. So I can take the amplitude a bit down just so the pitch is not going too up or too high in notes. And for this, we will use the sine VCO, quite an interesting um, oscillator. Right, and of course, uh, in my case, I will use also a quantizer. So from the sequencer and the scope, this will go to the quantizer and then to the oscillator. And let's have a listen to this already. Right, let's set a sequence, let's say 12 notes or 12 steps. Change the steps a bit. Right, something like this. Now we can change the sound of the oscillator, so I can add some feedback. Add unison. Add oscillator drift. Here in this case I can change also the waves. I'm going to stay with the first one in this case. Right, we have also a built-in filter if we want. Right, so really an interesting oscillator with all sorts of different uh, sound shaping capabilities. Now we can use this sequence to trigger more voices. So there is a nice string oscillator, the string VCO in this collection. Right, let's send this already to the mixer. Right, which is sort of a carpless strong type of um, oscillator and here on the in this case on the sequencer you see we have two trigger outputs trigger a and trigger b that we can activate separately for each of the steps right so here for example i can choose to have trigger a and let's have another one trigger a and this will trigger this voice right and let's set it to be a nice uh, bass voice Take it a few octaves down. I can change also the exciter, the input. So in this case, it's a burst of noise. I will go with the burst of ramp wave. Oh yeah. Change the decay. It's a really interesting, a really interesting oscillator. Now we can maybe improve the sound a bit more by sending it into a chorus. So yes, there is also a stereo chorus effect in this collection. And also here there are presets. I will go with analog warmth. Maybe add a bit more depth. Oh man, oh man. something like this. Now, the, um, another interesting feature of this LFO envelope generator is not only the ability to be synced to a clock, but it can also follow the amplitude of the built-in envelope. So we can add in-sync modulation that will follow the amplitude of the envelope to the sine VCO, for example, right? So if we go to the, let's say, a sine wave, right, first of all, I can sync it to the clock, right? And I will take the LFO envelope generator output. You will see soon enough also why. And this will modulate the feedback just a bit. Right, and now I can trigger this envelope, let's say from trigger B, that will happen only at the first step. Change the rate of the LFO. Maybe add a bit more. 
right? And now this LFO, as you can see, will follow the amplitude of the envelope. So if I add a bit more decay, right? Oh man. Maybe a bit less here. And I can change the rates. And it's, it will all be synced to this clock. Right, so let's modulate the rate with another LFO envelope generator, in this case as a sample and hold, again synced to the clock. Right, and let's have this a bit uh, quicker and use this as the LFO to modulate the rate, maybe bipolar. cool things you can do with this uh, LFO envelope generator. I have here another voice, another sequence, in this case sequencing the classic VCO. There is also a rotary speaker effect in this collection, which is also quite fun. Going through a filter and again I have this LFO going with the envelope generator, modulating the cutoff of this filter. Let's create a nice drone with two more oscillators from this collection. So we will use the wavetable VCO and the window VCO. Let's mix them again with the mixer. So this will be oscillator one. This will be oscillator two. And from there to the output. Now we can choose different wavetables on each of them and also change the sound, right? So if this will be oscillator one. Let's go with one from the Waldorf or Waldorf collection. This will be, let's say, the first one. Right, for the second oscillator, let's go also with the Waldorf. And we will go with the so octave. Right, so together they will sound like this. Right, again, we can add oscillator drift for each of them. Already you can hear the movement. Right, something like this. I can take the window um, VCO and octave down. Add unison for both. Oh yeah. Right, we have also saturation here. Formant. Right. Different ways of shaping the sound to add movement to this um, drone. Let me take this down for a second. Now we can add lots and lots of modulation, lots and lots of movement. And this we will do with the mod matrix module. Just combining, we can combine up to four modulation sources and send them out to up to eight different destinations. Right, so just, just to save uh, space, I'm going to use two LLFO modules or um, LFOs from Bog Audio and Walk, right? So this will be the modulation sources. And also we can add also the FM VCO3 also as an LFO source because we can take the octaves all the way down and the pitch all the way down if I connect it now. So let's start with the LFOs, LFO1, LFO2, Walk, and then this will be, Mod 4 will be the FM um, VCO, you can see it's quite quick, but we can add offset also to its volt per octave and take it even lower. Have a look here on the wave movement, right? I can make this even slower, really LFO, nice and slow LFO rates, and then change the shape to get an interesting 
interesting LFO modulation shape, maybe something like this, right? This can be quite interesting. And now let's start sending out the modulation. Maybe I will change the frequencies of the other modulation sources, right? And now let's bring in the voices. And now what I can do, let's say output one will control the morph of the first oscillator. So again, I map it to the morph control. And now I can start mapping the first output. So let's say the first LFO and walk with different amounts. Right, we can have another one for the morph of the second oscillator here. Right, so let's say this will be LFO2 and the FM LFO. Right, we can also modulate the satur uh, saturation on the first oscillator. Right, let's say LFO1 a bit, LFO. Um, LFO2 and walk. Right, it's also nice that you can see exactly the modulation, how it moves also on the controls themselves. Right, so for now let's leave it at this, but we can add also a filter after the mixer, right, and add also some movement to the filter itself. Right, maybe just a bit of resonance. Right, and add modulation to the filter. This will be output 4, let's say. And let's have the FM LFO with walk. Right, so you can see the filter has some movement to it. And let's add even another oscillator. This will be the FM2 oscillator, just as a nice uh, bass drone. This will go to oscillator three. I can also solo it just for a second so we can listen to it by itself. Take it maybe two octaves down. And also here, let's add some movement maybe to the feedback, right? So this will be, let's say LFO2 and the FM LFO. Right, and maybe we can add also some movement to the amount one. Right, maybe something like this, and this will be LFO2, a bit of walk, and again the FM. Right, just so we can have some modulation. You see here, it's the feedback is moving. Also the amount, you see here, it's a bit moving, right? just to add some more movement. And now let's add a nice reverb again, the reverb 2. And after the reverb, I'm going to add distortion. I like sending reverbs into distortion just to add a bit more crunch. Right, so here I will use the preset Cathedral 2. And here there is one that's called low end. Oh yeah. And now we will add another reverb. In this case, I'm going to use plateau because we need some plateau in this case. Lots of wet, lots of decay. Oh man. quickly show you a few more effects that are available in this collection. So here again I have a sequence coming from the LFO envelope generator sequencing the sine VCO. In this case I'm using slap as a VCA and envelope which will sound like this. Right, there's also some sample and hold here modulating the feedback. 
Now here I have the three monster module. Basically, if I bring the mix all the way up and let me take this, initialize it a bit. Basically, it will generate an oscillation that will follow the pitch of the incoming signal. Again, in this case, it's the sine VCO. I can change the threshold and speed, and speed of this pitch detection. Right? So it will generate an oscillation that I can then ring modulate with the original signal. And I can also pitch it up and down. Right, so if I take it for example an octave down. Right, I can mix it in with the sine wave, with the sine VCO. Right, and add another layer to the sound. Right, I have here another voice. This is the Twist VCO, which is a take on a mutable instruments uh, plats. You see there are the different um, engines or algorithms or modes that you can choose from. Right, it has also the built-in uh, Lopez gate. Right, so this is another voice to have here, and I'm sending it through a wave shaper. Oh yeah, that will sound like this with some modulation from the LFO envelope generator module. And here you have all sorts of different wave shaping algorithms. Uh, let's try a wave folder, for example. And everything sounds so good. <laughs> Fuzz. Let's go with the saturation. Right, again without. And now with, just to add a bit more interest to the sound. Right, I have here also some drums. I have the gate sequencer sequencing Tremor 2 as a kick drum and hi-hats and Tremor 1 as a snare drum with a gated reverb. Right, I can also sidechain this um, bass voice with a kick drum. And if I saw this, right. Just in case this, we will have a listen to this later. Now I'm mixing the drums and I'm sending them first of all through Chow, which is a um, sort of distortion. Right? It will make the sound a bit more crunchy and a phaser, which I really... Oh yeah, I really like this one. Such a nice phaser, again stereo, um, again you can sync it with the clock. I'm also sending the, a copy of the drums through more effects. I have here the Cumbulator, which is a series of comp filters that you can pan left and right, change the tone of and the time separately. Right, and create all sorts of interesting effects, glitchy effects. And this is also going through a frequency shifter. Oh man, yes, indeed. Yes, such a fun collection. Thank you again, uh, the Surge team, for bringing this lovely collection um, into VCV Rack. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful. I hope you will go and explore this amazing collection. Cheers.